The Grand Staff combines what you already know about the treble clef and the bass clef. The Grand Staff is the type of music piano players are used to seeing, where the left hand reads the bass clef and the right hand reads the treble clef. To make the Grand Staff, all you need is one staff with the treble clef, one staff with the bass clef, and then you need to connect them using a brace. This is the brace. It's a vertical line with a bracket on the side. Once you connect the two staves with the brace to create the grand staff, everything else stays the same. The spaces on the treble clef still spell the word face, and you can find the lines on the treble clef by using the sentence every good boy deserves fudge and placing the first letter of each word on each line from bottom to top. The bass clef, same thing. The spaces use the sentence all cows eat grass, going from bottom to top with the first letter of each word and the lines. In class, we started by saying good boys deserve fudge always. But in one of my fourth grade classes, students were getting confused with every good boy deserves fudge and good boys deserve fudge always. So they came up with a new one. It's gummy bears destroy France again. I like it a lot. So we're going to start using that one. So the lines of the bass clef are gummy bears destroy France again. So again, once you create a grand staff, nothing changes. Notes are still the same notes they were when they're on a treble clef staff by themselves or a bass clef staff by themselves. There are notes in between the staffs, however, and this leads us into ledger lines. Between the top line of the bass clef staff and the bottom line of the treble clef staff, there are three additional notes. We know that the top line of the bass clef staff is an A. All you need to do is remember the alphabet and remember that notes alternate between lines and spaces. So above the top line of the bass clef will be a space. After the letter A in the alphabet comes the letter B. After a space above the staff, we need a line. We alternate between lines and spaces. So we draw this line right here through that note to indicate that it is a line above a space above the staff. We know that the next note in the alphabet is C, so it's a C. This bottom line of the treble clef staff is an E. This space is right below that E. So what is right before E in the alphabet? It's tricky to go backwards. Before E in the alphabet is D. So it's D. And then we know the bottom line of the treble clef because every good boy deserves fudge. That's an E. These are the three notes that connect the treble clef to the bass clef on the grand staff. Piano players know this C as middle C, but we'll cover this in more detail in the next lesson. Up next, we talk about ledger lines.